Well, howdy out there. Well, it looks like this week we've gotten rid of two uh, career politicians. Wiener for sending nude photographs. If he doesn't resign, then shame on him. And now I find out on Nightline tonight that Newt Gingrich, in the past, had established a charity uh, when he was Speaker of the House and uh, used that money to advance his political career, and now he's doing it again. So I would say that Newt Gingrich's history and anybody who, you know, would want to vote for him just don't understand that the man is dishonest. Of course, what he does is not against the law, but it certainly isn't very moral. Then I heard uh, on uh, Tom Hartman's program, he's our write-in candidate for the next president of the United States of America, that... Uh, I believe it's in Jordan where they make Hanes socks for uh, Walmart and other stores like that Target that uh, the managers of these factories over there they bring in uh, Asian women and then they take them to the to a hotel three at a time and they rape them because the, they're afraid of losing their jobs they don't say anything and if they get pregnant they ship them back to wherever they came from so what you have over there is slave labor and it's the same thing that's happening, going to happen here if we don't wake up. For example, in Wisconsin, I saw that a judge upheld Governor Walker's uh, anti-labor bills. So um, I hope you people in Wisconsin uh, have the papers all ready for January to recall that guy. And then see if you can charge him with a crime, a crime against the people. Because he's a criminal. He's a, he's a criminal against the working people. And you know, these days, uh, employers have all the workers working in fear that they're going to lose their jobs. You now, it used to be, you know, you could go to a job and uh, if the employer gave you a ration or it was unfair, you'd tell them to go to hell and you go find another job. And you could do that within a week. Especially like uh, in, in casinos. You know, uh, you don't like one casino, you just go down the road to another toilet casino and get a job down there. <laughs> Back then they needed people. Now they've got everybody working in fear. And I say, hey, don't work in fear. And when the American People's Liberty Party wins the White House, we're going to end that fear. And we want to hear from all the people who have been frightened by their managers. Uh, people who are working in fear that they're going to lose their job because of a, a really mean manager. We want to hear from you people. We want to know who these managers are because we'll take care of them. When the American People's Liberty Party comes in power, it will be the people in charge, not the mean managers. So, you know, all the good things that we can have are up to you. It's up to you to spread the word about the American People's Liberty Party. And this is a party better than the Democrats ever were. And Tom Hartman is another FDR. And another Eisenhower rolled into one. He wants all the good things for America. And he's the most honest man I've ever seen on television. So start watching his program and start spreading the word about the American People's Liberty Party. Because your future is in your hands. Not my hands, it's in your hands. <laughs>